Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project. So today we are working on another cruise shirt, although I suppose you could use them anywhere you are uh, obsessed with ducks. <laughs> but if you've ever been on a cruise where you have hid or searched for rubber ducks, you know that it is a huge thing on cruise ships. We cruise Carnival, but of course it's big on almost all of the cruise lines. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a big community thing that you can, you know, you can bring as few or as many ducks as you would like to hide. If you don't want to bring any ducks, everyone is uh, welcome to search. It's nothing that the actual cruise ships do. This is all passenger based. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. We like to hide and find, and it's a lot of fun to both see kids and older people do it. My mom, who is in her 60s, loves the ducks. It is one of her favorite things to do is to walk around the ship and look for ducks and to hide them. Or she, she really likes to just give the ducks to people and see their reactions uh, face to face, especially little kids. Um, and that's kind of the whole point is it's just a fun thing to do. And so I saw a fun design similar to this um, and I just thought, I bet she would love these. So I actually made cruise shirts for our upcoming Singapore cruise that she knows about. If you haven't watched that video, check it out because I think it is my most ambitious and my cutest design yet. Um, but I'm going to surprise her with these duck shirts on the ship. I went with a simple yellow shirt with the design. I'm just here for the ducks and a little duck from uh, Cricut Design Space. Of course, you could have used a lot different, a lot more uh, intricate colors, you know, yellow and orange for the duck or made it a unicorn duck. There's all kinds of ducks. Um, but I just wanted to work with what I had and not buy a lot of new materials for these shirts. And since I don't typically do a lot of yellow and orange colors, I just went with black. Honestly, that's not always my favorite thing to do, but it is mom's favorite thing to do. She just thinks it's easiest to read. So she's always getting on me about why I'm using different color vinyls and iron-ons. She's like, you should just do black. You should just do black. So mom, here's your all black. <laughs> we're headed into Cricut Design Space and we're going to start with putting the design together and then cutting it out with our Cricut. Let's get started. Let's make our duck shirt. So I have opened Cricut Design Space and I just went ahead and I looked through, I think, projects for rubber duck projects and you can see I saved it. Whoop, that's not the right one. Bookmarked. That I found this one. Release the Quacken by Works of Wow. And I really liked this specific duck, so that is the one I will be using. And I just edited a copy and then copied that duck onto a new screen. From there, you can, of course, change the color. I'm going to cut all of this out of one color. Um, it's going on a light yellow shirt, and I don't think I have any iron on materials that this duck would appear in well so we're just, we're going to do all black um, from there you can simply type out your text however the the text that i wanted to use has a regular and a bold font it wouldn't let me do both in cricut design space for some reason so i did go ahead and save an svg and i will leave that linked down below for you um, but if you want to use a different text you can always type out your words however you would prefer from here though i'm going to go ahead and just weld everything together since i'm cutting it all out of the same material that will keep our spacing so click make. I'm using my Maker 3 so that I can use a smart vinyl without a mat. However, if you would like to use an iron-on that is not a smart iron-on, I keep saying vinyl, uh, <laughs> you can always use a, a cutting mat. From here, we are going to make two of these, one for me, one for my mom. And we are going to mirror them because we are using an iron-on. Perfect. Now we will hit continue. It's connecting to our maker. 
we're going to select smart iron on and more pressure because I just find that works a little bit better and I will meet y'all over at the Cricut. We are going to make sure our fine point blade is inserted, load our iron on into the machine and start cutting. Yeah, before I go ahead and cut these, I remembered at the nick of time, last second, since I was heading to my machine, that I don't want a 12 inch duck on my shirt. Uh, so I re resized these to about five inches wide by about five inches tall, just because they happen to be square. Uh, you can go a little smaller or a little bigger. I find that in between five and 11 inches for a front design works well. I would only do 11 inches if you have a lot of text or uh, busy, busy type, like my Singapore cruise shirts that we just did have a very, very busy design. For something this big, you're not gonna want an 11 inch duck on your shirt. So five is better. And I think that will be, if anything, a smidge small, that's okay. Now back to the maker. All right, so we are all set with our smart iron on. I am using the black. And as you can see, I'm also using the roll holder. I just find it makes it a lot easier with these larger rolls of smart iron. So I've loaded it into my machine. Because it is on a roll, it's easy to tell that this goes in. But remember, with iron on, you'll make sure that the shiny side is down. And we are cutting into the matte side of the material, which is the back. Which is why our mirror had to be turned on for iron on. So we're going to go ahead and hit go. All right, let's go ahead and measure how much material we need, and then we'll be able to hit start. Got our fine point blade in the chamber here, and because this is smart iron-on and our Maker 3, it will cut pretty quickly. Now that it's done, we'll go ahead and slice it off the roll. Put the excess back in the box for our next project. away well off to the side and there we go it's very hard to see because they're black but you know black on black is just <laughs> you know honestly the only thing harder is the white on white vinyl it's like the lines just disappear into the whiteness perfect so now It is weeding time, which means we will come in here and we'll remove all the portions of our iron-on that we don't need. The inside of letters, the negative spaces, until we just have our design left on both pieces. So give me a second. It's a little tedious and y'all don't need to watch that. All right, these were super easy to weed. The text was the hardest part and it's pretty straight text. I used a pretty blocky font, so there we go. Woo, all right guys, I hit you with the easy press mat. So I picked yellow shirts for this because I figured that yellow shirts with black text would be easier than trying to do yellow and orange iron on. For these ducks. So let's go ahead and get this put down. We're going to do about four fingers down. Let's find the middle 
just right about here in the middle of the head. Make sure it's straight. And there we go. I'm just here for the ducks. So like I said, this might be a little small, but I just don't want a giant duck on my shirt, even though I do want a duck. I think this would stay down pretty well, but it's kind of coming up a little, so I'm just gonna use a little heat resistant washi tape to hold it in place, just a little extra. I've set my Easy Press to 315 for 30 seconds. And we're going to go ahead and press that right over our decal. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. We're gonna hit it for about half the time from the back. You can hold it in place. I just find on the back kind of better if you iron it out a little. I don't know if it's better or just more fun. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds is half. Now we'll go ahead and we'll let this cool down before we go ahead and remove the iron on. So we'll do a cool peel. Go ahead and just literally leave it sit until it's cool to the touch. Still warm. All right, it is cool to the touch. So let's see how it's bonded. Always start slow, because if you need to apply more heat, you can. You really should just peel up, leaving the iron on behind. There we go. Perfection. I'm just here for the ducks. So cute. Oh. This is the best part of Cricut is I saw a similar design shirt that somebody else had made. It was uh, a little more detailed because they had uh, little yellow ducks with the orange bill and all that. I loved it. But since she'd made them, you know, not like I could just buy one. But that's okay, because I too can just make stuff. All I had to do was buy the shirts. And since I cruise with my mom, and honestly, she is, like, I love ducks. And I am better at finding them than she is. But she loves looking for ducks. It is one of her favorite things to do on a cruise. All right, second shirt, and then we will be back with the grand reveal. I think they turned out so cute. It probably would have been a little better if I'd had like a fun glittery kind of something for the duck, but for this kind of project where I just kind of wanted to make something, I didn't want to buy a specific vinyl or iron-on just for the ducks. And that's fine. I worked with what I had, and I think they are pretty darn cute. So I hope you liked this video. And if you make these, send me a message. I want to see. Bye.